Afternoon everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I really didn't plan on doing a video today. Tomorrow I'm going back to Costa Rica and you know I was laying in the bed. It's really gray and rainy out there today. Um, it's been almost black all day. Had some record rains down in uh, Mobile, Pensacola area. Some played 10 inches plus, but that doesn't have anything to do with the video. Um, the reason I did the video today was I just got hungry. I was laying down, can't take a nap mid-afternoon. All I've been eating is fruit all day today. Been hitting the citrus pretty hard and I said okay I'm ready for one more salad and I had some stuff in the fridge that I wanted to get rid of. Now the other day one of the groups I go to on Facebook I just had this uh, certain taste. For me I don't have these sweet tastes, the salty taste per se. I have taste for textures and different ways of uh, food being shaped or cut up. And since I've been here in the States I've been uh, using this mix on my salads. Usually not a whole salad of them but I've been putting this um, broccoli slaw mix in there. And that's the base of this salad today. In fact, I didn't use any lettuce. I just wanted this. I just had a taste for this. And I started building. Well, it started the other day. I was going to do this two days. What's the day? Tuesday? Yeah, two days ago, Sunday. I asked for a recipe, some suggestions for a recipe in one of the groups I go to on Facebook. And got, so, got a bunch of different responses. All good. Um, you women, you're just so much better than us guys. You're so much cleverer at putting together recipes in the kitchen. But I'm getting better and I'm catching up. So I took the elements, I took all the suggestions, but I used, you know, what I have in my kitchen. And I think the most elements I took from any one person were from Melissa of Lissa's Raw Food Romance. I put the link to her place, to her page, uh, to her video videos um, a few days ago. Um, so yeah, I like a lot of her food. I like the looks of her food. Um, her her um, Instagram should probably be rated R because there's some a lot of food porn on there. Now she's got some good food. But anyway, I took what I liked and just what I thought would work in my head, added some things, used a few of those elements, kind of made it my own. But I have to give props out there where props are due. And there were some other people in this wonderful group that gave me some suggestions. So, basically all I used was a, I, and I bought this in the store. Now, I'm not going to be able to get this in the store when I get back to Costa Rica, so I'll pull out the food processor and see about getting my textures the, the right way. But it's a broccoli slaw. It's basically just shredded broccoli, carrots, and red cabbage. Now, I took about half a cucumber or so, and I cut up on top of that. Then I made my dressing. And I actually wrote it down for you today, so I'm going to be somewhat precise, but you play around with it, depending on how thick or how much you like. And I put it all over there. I like a wet salad, if I haven't told you before. I'm not one of these dry salad eaters, and I admire the people that'll just sit and eat lettuce and cucumbers and stuff. But usually when I make a salad, I want it kind of wet. So, I started off with the juice of a, lar a large lemon. It was a great big lemon. Um, one clove of garlic, which is a little low for me. I don't usually use that much, but I think I'm going to start cutting down on the garlic, just, you know, kind of just using a little bit for taste. A splash of apple cider vinegar. Then here's where the real taste came from. Two tablespoons of almond butter. Um, one pinch, and I really do mean just a pinch, of Himalayan pink sea salt. Um, I put about a half teaspoon of turmeric. Um, the suggestion was maybe try some curry. I don't have curry, so I just put about a half teaspoon of turmeric. Could have gone a little bit more. I just didn't want to ruin this because I didn't have a lot of, if I messed it up, I didn't have a, anything much left in the kitchen to make a salad. So. Just went with a half teaspoon. You can play with that turmeric if you want to follow this recipe and maybe add a little bit more to your taste. And then, that I didn't want just like a total liquid um, uh, salad dressing. Oh, and I put about, I didn't write that one down, but I just remembered. I put about a half cup of water in there. And then for the end, to thicken it up, you know, that just as a base, kind of a neutral that uh, gives our, uh, some uh, thickness to it, I put a cup of zucchini, chopped zucchini in there. Now. I poured this on my salad, mixed it in really good, and then I topped with green onions to finish. And this turned out the bomb, to me anyway. Now I've got weird taste, and you're never going to hurt my feelings. If you try one of these recipes and you don't like it, you don't like it. Uh, because I can put some weird stuff together, um, and I enjoy the stuff. But it turned out good. I'm about to dive into this bowl. You can see right there, that's my, this is my feeding bowl. I'm not sure if I've showed you guys my feeding bowl. I basically almost eat almost everything out of this bowl while I'm in the States. 
Um, I think I'm going to have to graduate to even a bigger one, and uh, maybe I'll bring a nice uh, wooden bowl from Costa Rica on the next trip. But, yeah, this is a really good salad. I'm looking forward to it. Um, probably going to be the last, well, it will be the last salad. Um, I'm actually eating this kind of early. This is about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, just felt like a salad, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm going to have it. Um, might have some more citrus tonight. I've been rocking the citrus. It's really going to be, like I said, the oranges in uh, Costa Rica are good, but I'm, they're not great for eating. They make better juice than they do eating, but I've been just killing the citrus, and I'll probably finish off the night with some citrus. But I hope you guys will give this maybe recipe a try. Tell me what you think. Add something to it. Um, you know, always, there's always, these recipes, I don't like recipes that are set in stone. You better have a damn good recipe if you're going to set them in stone, and I'm going to use them set in stone all the time, because I just feel like we can almost take almost any recipe and play with it to our taste or play with it to our mood for a specific day. But anyhow, I tasted the dressing just to make, oops, made a little mess there, sorry. Tasted the dressing um, with a spoon just to make sure the dressing was going to be okay. I didn't want to show you a bad salad and then be like, not even eat it. <laughs> and then you try the dressing and say like, oh God, that's horrible. Mm. Definitely gets a thumbs up. I forgot one thing that I always like to top off a salad with. Just for that little bit, I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper on the top. And this is a winner. This is going to fill me up. Got a little bit of fat in there. Haven't had any fat today, though. So, um, you know, two tablespoons of almond butter was a little bit of a treat because I don't get almond butter in the States. And I bought my mom some the other day. She's eating that instead of commercial peanut butter. Well, when I'm here, so and she enjoys it. She just actually likes it, so I bought it mostly for her, but wanted to have a little bit. Anyhow, I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Um, I hope you can see that even... Um, it doesn't have to be hard. You know, I, I went in the kitchen, I whipped this up in about 15 minutes. It, it took no time. So, it's easy. Don't make any excuses. You can, um, guys, especially if the guys are watching out there, we don't tend to be as creative in the kitchen. Get in there and play. That, the only way to learn how to do food is to do it and is to make, you know, to see. I remember when I first started doing this, I got, um, you know, I put together some things. I'm like, ew, that just doesn't work. Now more and more I understand. I understand this will help this, this will do this, blah, blah, blah. So, um, hopefully... Have a good trip home tomorrow. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. All plane connections are made. I don't have a very long time <laughs> between flights. But in the words of the immortal Porky Pig, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, that's all, folks. Peace out.